welcome back to the vlog it is saturday i'm starting a weekend vlog today i feel like i've been doing a lot of weekly vlogs and technically this vlog is going to be saturday sunday monday so it is actually into the week but i'm gonna have a chill weekend it's actually easter weekend when i'm recording this so we're gonna celebrate easter tomorrow i'm starting this on saturday and i have a chill day today i kind of just wanted to do another more restful kind of reset vlog i've talked about how i'm trying to actually do like a sabbath day and so i've been doing that on sunday and having a day off my phone and i thought it'd be nice just to vlog this weekend and vlog that um it's noon when i'm starting this and i just actually finished doing some work i'm trying to catch up on work this morning because aiden's brother's coming into town this next week i want to have everything done before then and i've just been hanging out with cash doing all the normal stuff but because it's easter weekend i just thought this is the perfect video to share an organization that i'm working with on just such an exciting campaign that i've never really done something like this before I'm working with World Vision and I'm so thankful to be partnering with them for this video. World Vision actually has a child sponsorship program which is really awesome because they help children who are in need in other communities overseas. And they have evidence-based approaches to how they're helping these communities just break free from poverty. And I really appreciate World Vision because they're really focused on helping these communities become self-sufficient and not depend on overseas support. So they really have just an integrated approach for whatever a specific community needs so whether that's healthcare, whether that is infrastructure needs whether that is education all communities receive different kind of forms of care because every community is unique and i'm really excited because i actually got to get on a call with their team in bangladesh for their chosen program which i'm going to talk about in a second our regular program was as i told you before the area development program so in a particular area we always uh, do integrated program that is uh, change uh, life of a child but integrated way i mean the child should uh, have uh, should enjoy good health and should uh, have the good relationship uh, in in between families and then uh, in the community i'd also like to know some of the ways that the child sponsorship actually impacts the kids and their families in the different communities what uh, the sponsored child will get uh, they will get um, we call it uh, sponsor children uh, go from surviving to thriving when you sponsor a child it helps address the spe specific needs of uh, community uh, and empowering uh, your child and then uh, their family and community to be self sufficient so talking about the chosen program so essentially you're watching this video on april 8th a thursday and so from april 8th to april 15th they are running their chosen program which i think is really cool because if you guys don't know what child sponsorship is typically you sponsor a child for whatever needs that they have it's a set rate a month and typically you actually get to choose the child that you're sponsoring but what i think is really cool about world vision is with their chosen program the child actually gets to choose you so essentially you sign up, it's $39 a month, and they're very transparent about where this money is actually going to if you want to see on their website. But I believe in 2020, it was 88% of it went to the programs that directly aided you know, children, families, and communities. And the other money went to management and fundraising. So you can see that on the website, but essentially you sign up, it's $39 a month. And that fee is paid monthly until the child is self-sufficient, which again is the goal or just doesn't need to be sponsored anymore. So this chosen campaign is specifically in Bangladesh, but they operate in a lot of different countries. I'll have some of them listed right here. So there are a lot of other countries that they help out, but specifically this one's for Bangladesh. But you sign up and I just did this so I can explain, but you sign up, it's $39 a month. You get to upload a photo. So the dates have changed since I recorded this. So I wanted to say that the children will choose on April 21st and you will find out who chose you on April 26th. And I'm really excited because you guys can actually sign up below. And when you sign up, you'll actually get to be in a Facebook group with me and we're gonna get to chat as we wait to be chosen. To actually get into the Facebook group, after you guys complete your registration, there will be a check it out button. At the end, you'll click that to enter the Facebook group. And you will also get a welcome email after completing registration. And there will be another check it out button that you can click to enter the Facebook group. We can just talk back and forth. And then when we actually get chosen, get to kind of share who chose us. And I just think it's really special because one, you guys know, I really love engaging with you guys on here. And I think this is just like a different level to it. I will have them linked down below 
as well as just other resources from World Vision if you want to read more about them before signing up or anything. That'll all be linked down below. But yeah, it's $39 a month. You guys know I talk about generosity a lot on this channel and how important it is to me if you listen to my podcast tithing and it would just mean the world to me if you guys signed up as well and we got to chat in this facebook group so, so i just wanted to share that with you guys um, i'll also be sharing about them on my instagram too if you guys want to follow me on there and just like keep in the know i might do a live too for the actual chosen day so if that's something you're interested in you should definitely sign up so for the rest of the day today i'm actually hanging out with my sister and my mom we're gonna have a girls day because i have no idea what we're even doing i think we're just going for a little drive and might just see we're very spontaneous we just kind of see where the day takes us but actually just have a nice saturday cash is having a very lazy saturday he's so sleepy today oh a sleepy baby sleepy baby yeah. it's so cute because on saturdays we usually like take him out because he still has to go in the morning but then we put him back in bed with us and every now and then he'll fall asleep again and it's so cute he did that this morning but he's so sleepy today so aiden just came back from getting us coffee and he surprised me with some flowers for easter so i'm gonna go ahead and put these in a vase We just got back home. Cash is being so funny. He's just like watching me over here. We went for a drive and we ended up in this place called St. Joe. And it was such a cute little town and they actually had a cute gift shop and I got a couple of things. So I'll show you guys what I got. We literally just drove around and listened to good music and had a good time. It's like 6.30 now. And so I'm gonna have Aiden pick up some groceries on the way home so I can make this some dinner. But it was this tiny town. They just had this really cute shop and I got another candle because this one I use in the kitchen actually just burn out. It's a Chesapeake Bay candle. It's a soy wax blend and this says it's driftwood and amber and it just smells really good. It's like a really pretty frosted container too. And then I also got because we just ran out of our salsa. I like trying like different salsa so I'm gonna eat some of this actually right now but it's a mango lime salsa. I like buying things like this from gift shops and of course like small businesses. But now I think I'm just going to tidy up before he gets back. Aiden went to the driving range because he's trying to get good at golf. And so that's what he's doing right now, but feels good to be home. waiting for Aiden to come home but I wanted to say this is kind of funny because I talked about the chosen program in this vlog but I'm also watching the chosen series which shows kind of the life of Jesus through the eyes of the people who Jesus knew and it's so good I don't know why I haven't watched the series yet it's so good and so well done if you guys want to watch it I really like it because it's really interesting to see just how human they made Jesus and Jesus having a sense of humor and interacting with people like a human. And I think just as a Christian, when you read the Bible, sometimes Jesus kind of seems like an abstract figure, but it's really cool in the series just seeing him like being a person. I don't know how to describe it, but it really makes me just want to read my Bible more for one and just really want to draw near to Jesus. And I think it's a really good series and it's really well done. Like I said, if you guys want to check it out, I'll have it also linked down below. Just made a very simple dinner tonight. I just have a salad kit that I put together and then some homemade turkey burgers. And I just toasted our buns, which definitely got a little bit too toasted, but that is our dinner tonight. I just finished getting ready for Easter. I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. I actually haven't worn these earrings since our wedding, so they're pretty special. These aren't from a store though. I got them from my sister-in-law. Her mom actually works in a business where she sells pearls. So my same layer necklaces I always wear. I'll have these linked down below. They're from Madewell. My dress, I think it's so cute. I haven't been able to find it though to link it. So if I find it, I'll link it. But I think it's just like the perfect spring dress. It has a bit of a slit in the front and then it just has buttons. I love sleeves that go like this on the side. I think they're really pretty. And then my shoes are just these sandals which are from Naturalizer. They're just cute, comfy wedge sandals. And this is why we celebrate. 
This is why there is so much to celebrate. This is why you can pick so many texts throughout the New Testament. You can, we can have Easter every week. I can preach text after text after text after text. Why? Because it's full of the resurrection. We are his bride. For what the law could not do, purification, he had to do over and over again. They could not say what the law could not do, weak as it was through the flesh, God did. hardly vlogged like actually talking to the camera on Easter because I've honestly just been having such a great Easter with my family today and while I was over there I just wasn't really vlogging so I was really enjoying time with family but I hope you guys had a great Easter. I know you're watching this after Easter but it is 7 45 I actually sat down to finish some edits on a video that I don't have to do but I just like like reflecting on the week and looking at the footage so that's what I'm doing right now. But it's Sunday and I wanted to say something that I recently started doing on Sunday. So I talked about actually practicing a Sabbath and I think for a lot of different people that means different things. But for me, something that I've been trying to do on Sundays and this is my second Sunday doing it, which I know is not a lot, but I have been spending a day off of Instagram. I know everyone's different with different social media, but Instagram is one of those apps that I spend a lot of time on and partly because it is my job, but also because I just scroll and look at other people's content and I just spend a lot of time on there. And I wanted to start setting aside a day just to have a day off of Instagram specifically. I still go on YouTube, but Instagram is really the only other social media I use. And I just want to say it feels so good. This is something that I have always wanted to implement in my life, but I felt like I was never disciplined to fully do. And I would always say I was going to do it, but basically on my phone, I just moved the app to the second page. And it's crazy how much I instinctively will go on my phone and I'll just go straight to Instagram. And I realize it on the day that I'm not trying to go on, but I just feel so clear headed. I feel really present when I'm spending time with my family and I just feel really at peace. And I think this is something that a lot of people know that like going off of social media does make you feel this way, but it's so hard to do because it's so ingrained in our minds just to constantly be scrolling. But actually setting aside a day and knowing that I'm not going to on this day, I'm actually not going to like keep myself to doing it on Sunday. Sometimes I might do it on Saturday, just depending on the week, but I've been doing it the past two Sundays and it just feels so good. We also had such a good sermon at church. I took like some short snippets from it, but it was basically talking about the story of how Jesus turned water into wine, but it was just a really awesome message at church. And I just really appreciated getting to listen to that. And it was cool how my mom had actually just watched the episode of Chosen, which we haven't gotten to yet, where Jesus actually does turn water into wine. And so it felt really cool being in the service for her. But I just wanted to say that to encourage you guys. I know I'm a social media person, so it may seem weird that I'm encouraging you to get off your phone, but I don't think you realize how much time it takes up and how much Aiden was even saying in the car, like the minute he got on he was like wow it's crazy how just like clicking on the instagram app i immediately feel so much more stressed aiden got back from taking cash in so i need to finish what i was saying but i wanted to say that has just really been helping me and i would totally encourage you guys to actually do it and just try like deleting and just start small i think a lot of times with this kind of stuff it seems really difficult because you think of like oh i need to stop all social media on one day but just take one app and just move it to another folder and really kind of cultivate that discipline of not using it. It's just really good. I also got my screen time report back today and it was literally like two hours less this week, which is just a really good feeling and I think is really just good. I think with all the technology nowadays, it's just good to constantly be aware of how it's affecting you, how it's making you feel and how it's bringing you closer or farther apart from the people around you. And I get a lot of, and I get questions because obviously it's my job and people are like, how can you just go off when it's your job? But I don't think that me taking a day off of social media, I think of people working kind of traditional nine to five jobs, they work five days a week and they have the weekend. And I think it's good just to take a day to go off even if it is technically like your job 
we still deserve to have like a day off and I feel more recharged and more ready to share things on my mind the next day after. So yeah, just something that I wanted to say and give you guys some encouragement. It's 8.30, I think we're actually gonna keep watching Chosen tonight, Aiden's working out right now. We just have a nice night together, kind of chill night and then get ready for Aiden's brother to come tomorrow. <laughs> to take cash out because he was in his crate while I was working out. I just got a workout in. There have been people in there lately and I obviously don't like to record when other people are in my shot. I think that would be so mean to record people working out and so I haven't been getting my workouts recorded but I did a really good strength workout. Cindy Cummings started a new shred program so I did that today. It was really hard. I also hadn't worked out for three days so I just felt a little bit out of it. Something that I'm doing this morning is just going through and cleaning out the fridge and the pantry, getting rid of old food. And I've been cutting up our fruit lately, like our apples, our berries, just washing and cutting everything and then putting it in the fridge because I think we're more likely to eat it. And something that I actually like to do with apples is kind of random. I always get Honeycrisp apples. I like to squeeze a little bit of lime juice so they don't get brown in the fridge. I just think they taste a lot better this way. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also watching Sammy Clark. I love her videos. She's like a health fitness guru, if you will. She's really cute. I just got ready. I need to kind of sit and look through all the things that I need to get done today, but Aiden's brother Ryan comes in at two today, but Aiden's gonna pick him up and then he has to go back to work and then he'll be back later. But I have quite a few things that I need to get done, just a lot of kind of like computer things, but also shooting a couple of Instagram campaigns that I don't think will actually take very long, but the lighting keeps going in and out because it's kind of cloudy today, but it's gonna be 80 degrees all week and I'm so excited. I'm so excited to go up to our pool too. I'm sure we're gonna hang out up there with Ryan and maybe even get to swim, which is something that I haven't gotten to do yet. So I'm wearing the tennis dress that I showed you guys in one of my past vlogs, which I really like. And I think it's really cute and comfy, but it's just a little bit short. It's not even that short, but for me, I just don't really wear things that are very short because I take cash out so frequently and I'm bending down and we live in a very populated area. And so I might keep it on, but I might not. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm 5'7", which I think a lot of people think that I'm shorter, but I'm 5'7", so for reference. This is the dress. I think it's super cute. Again, not like too short, but just a little bit short for me, but I think it's just really cute with like sneakers, but I'll have it linked down below if you like it. I'm working on some edits right now. I just filmed some stories for a brand. I changed into this top, which is so cute. It says stay golden. It's got a little gold retriever on it. I think it's really cute though. <laughs> guys want to sign up to get chosen with world vision i will have it linked i'm really excited you'll get to be in the facebook group with me and i am really hoping some of you guys are in it because i'm just really excited to get chosen myself